tough year so far for you. Missed a few games at the back and some growing pains. Uh, what do you need to do to snap out of it? I know it's it's a couple months into a long career, but uh, what do you think is going on right now with the struggles? Um, yeah, I mean, things haven't gone how I you know expected them to so far, but I think that's part of it. It's just one of those things you have to learn how to get out of yourself, right? And um, I've definitely made some strides as far as mentally, game planning, that kind of thing. Um, I was kind of expecting things to happen instead of making them happen, essentially. So this is a good, a good league. Um, a lot of good pitchers. Are you being pitched differently than you ever have? That it's now okay. I, they're doing some things, and I need to adjust back. Is that a little bit of what's going on, or do you think it's more you that isn't doing something? Is it the pitching? What, what is it? The, that's going on there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've just been missing some good pitches to hit. I think that's what it is. I think I'm, you know, only a few swings away from getting back to where I need to be. And, um, you know, once I start hitting those pitches, things should be going well. And, yeah. What are some of those uh, adjustments you said that have gone well for you lately? Like, where, where do you feel like you're making some progress? Uh, I think a lot of it's just routine in the batter's box, presence, making sure I'm, you know, doing the things that I can do to control, you know, the temperature of the game and where I need to be, you know, in the box, in the zone with my swing, that kind of thing. So. It's just, you know, more precise planning, more intentful um, approach, that kind of thing. So. Are you guys excited to have Cole here tonight to play behind him? Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be really, really fun to watch Cole pitch. I'm excited to see it from center field. Looking at the, the carry this year, I'm sure it's frustrating to have seen that gone up again in May. Um, just how difficult is it kind of on your end to see that kind of climbing, and what is the process for you to kind of get that back down to where it's back to a more playable moment? Um, I haven't, you know, looked at those numbers yet. I know I'm not, you know, making as much contact as I would have liked, but um, I know that it's, you know, just a small adjustment away from, you know, being where I was and not swinging and missing. But does it feel like it's you're kind of getting back on that track now? Yeah. You changed your hands, dropped them this year. Did that? Do you think that that it's still adjusting to that? Have you thought about going back, where you say that this is still going to be good for the long run? Um, yeah, I'm still, you know, they're still playing with things and figuring out, you know, what's the best position to put myself in. And um, I'm sure you'll see some movement or in different spots, but it's just, you know, a hitter feeling things out, getting where he needs to get to. How have you felt defensively? How have you felt? I felt great in the outfield. I feel really good out there. It's been a lot of fun this year. I don't know. You probably never struggled this much in your career. I think last year when you came up, you had some struggles here. You ended the year, you're very strong. Mindset wise, some, for someone who's been so good your whole life. How, how do you handle? I mean, everybody goes through it, even the greatest of the greats. But is is it tough to deal with that mentally? Is someone helping you with that, or you just say, "Hey, it's uh, it's two months into my career here, and I know my talent got me here, and I hit here last year at the end, and I hit everywhere I've been. It's it's going to happen." Yeah, no, I feel like I've dealt. You know, I've dealt with things that. A little deeper than baseball, I feel like that would hurt me more than just struggling in a game. Um, you know, I sat out a couple of years at the end of high school and college. Really, really pissed me off, and that had me, you know, figure some things out, get to where I needed to get to. And so, you know, if I'm just failing in baseball, like my mind's going to be all right. I'm going to get through it. I'm persevere. I'll be all right. You know, it's just, you know, like I said, it's adjustments that need to be made, and I've, you know, dealt with enough stuff in the past to figure out what I need to do to get this done. So, I'm not discouraged in any way. What is kind of your process for, for looking at making those adjustments? Are you looking at video? Or are you relying on Kevin or Joe Miguelacho? Like, what's your process for, for trying to make those adjustments successful for you? Yeah, I got a I got a circle of people that I'm working with. Um, I guess to you know further answer your question, it's like a mental performance guy I'm working with Brian Kane, and he's helped me out a lot. And you know, a guy I worked with in the off seasons, been in contact with him, and he's helping me out with some stuff. And like I said, I don't think it's you know too far away from where I need to get to. What's something that they say that sticks out, a mental performance coach? What's something that they can say that, you, that sticks to your mind that can help? Um, you know, the importance of being present with what you need to do, right? It's easy to uh, let a bat slip away, let pitches slip away, that kind of thing. Or to um, you know, not really, um, trying to find the right way to word it, to uh, instead of, you know, committing to what you're trying to do, you're just kind of recreating what you've done in the past, essentially. And, you know, that's something that I don't want to, you know, ever be known as somebody to try to recreate something. I'd rather 
you know, redo it over and over again, you know, through the commitment. So. Well, spring training, that had to be a positive for you. And um, when you play with the big team, you have some success there being around those guys, that whole experience. When you go through some struggles like this now, knowing, hey, I was in big league camp this year and I more than held my own at a young age. And that has to be, that had to be a confidence boost that when you look at these times here to say, look, that wasn't that long ago that I was doing that, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's something cool to look back on and you know that I had success there. And it, the goal is just to, you know, put my mind back in that space where things were so simple and I was just doing what I needed to. I mean, obviously you had a big week at the plate this past week. Six for 12 over the weekend with six RBIs. Do you feel yourself catching your footing and catching the team right now? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I was in a better spot over the weekend, was seeing it well and um, making a lot better decisions where I needed to. And just something we're going to hold on to and keep going with. What stood out about this team? You guys are two months in. You guys are three games out. You know, what stuck out that's going to get you guys over the hump? I feel like we haven't even played our best, uh, our best baseball yet. I think the team's still coming together, and that, you know, when things start rolling as a, as a group, it's going to be really special going into the rest of the summer. Seeing the guys like Augustine and, and Ricey mashing the way that they are, how much do you guys feed off of each other in terms of, you know, everything that's going right with the bats right now? Yeah, I mean, those two guys are, you know, some of the best hitters in our league, and we're lucky to have them, you know, both in a key position behind the plate. And, you know, Rice is one of the guys that I'm close with, and, you know, we talk hitting all the time. So, you know, it's cool to get to pick his brain and learn what he's, you know, going through and what he's figuring out. You and Dominguez, one, two prospects. He's here for a while. I don't know, do you guys, his English is pretty good now. Do you guys get to bond and hang out? Do you guys ever talk about, like, boys, someday in the future we could play together up in the Bronx? And, and also, what was your take on his time here? Yeah, Dominguez is one of my favorites. Like, he's so great to have around. Everybody loves him, you know what I mean? And he's the guy that just brings good energy every day. I could feel that in camp, and I could like, especially feel it here. And the way that he does his work is very professional. And, yeah, me and him, you know, spent some time in the outfield doing drills or whatever together and had a good time, and, you know, I like being around him. So. Are, you, are you interested to see what happens with Juan Soto this offseason? There's already talk. Is he going to get $500 million, $600 million and Judges there, you have Dominguez, you have you, Stan Steele under contract. Do you like to say to yourself, how's this all going to play out? Do you, I know you're taking it one day at a time, but no. part of you have to think when, during your downtime, like, what's going to happen here? No, I'm not too, I don't think too hard into it. I mean, as a baseball fan, it's going to be cool to see what happens with Juan Soto. And obviously, it's awesome when the Yankees are playing well for, you know, more than just Yankees fans, just for baseball. So um, I, don't, I don't think too far ahead as far as that stuff goes. A lot of it's out of my control. Pretty impressed of what he's done so far. Yeah, he's a good baseball player. Good. <laughs> Jason kind of went through the same thing he did last year, where he had the big spring, kind of got out of the gate slow here last year. Did, did you lean on him at all to kind of see like how he got through? You know, having such a great start in the spring, then come kind of making the jump here and getting off like a slow start. Um, we never really got into stuff like that. I mean, it was just nice to have him around, and you know. Um, talking simpler stuff. We were talking outside the field kind of things. We're not really too, you know, like getting in the weeds about anything as far as on the field, just hanging out, being, being friends. Does it help to know that he kind of went through the same thing a little bit? Um, I haven't really thought about that one much either. <laughs>